Welcome back for another video with Grant's Heating and Air. Today, we're showing a conversion of a manufactured home furnace to an all-electric air handler. So this is really cool because we're taking an 80% efficient furnace that was in a manufactured home. We're converting it over to all-electric Daikin Fit heat pump. Let's get right to it. I'm excited to show you guys this one. We're out here looking at the Daikin Fit Enhanced Outdoor Unit. This is the cold climate rated heat pump that will operate down to negative 20 degrees. And we were lucky enough here to already have the concrete pad in place. And one thing we have to be very mindful of though is the water, the defrost function of this. It's going to pour water out of it. So we definitely wouldn't want that to go onto the walking area of this entry door. And luckily it comes down and there's a lip here to protect the water from getting onto that walkway. They have locking caps that were installed. This is by code now to have the locking caps installed. And we have our nice sticker. We love these. These stickers can handle the sun. So we are proud of the work that we do. So we do put stickers on our equipment. I don't know how many pieces of equipment I've come to that don't even have a sticker on it. So I'll show some pictures of this crawl space. We did need to go down there and install a 10 inch flex. And we do that right underneath the air handler. And why is that important? Well, this is a double wide unit. And so it is gonna have two trunk lines going down it, one in the middle of each unit. When you have your air handler on one side, you have to distribute that air to the other trunk line. We weren't able to find how they were doing that properly. And so we added a 10 inch flex directly under the air handler and brought it up to the other trunk line in the center. And you really need that to disperse that air, get the pressure out and properly pressurize each, each of the trunk lines. Another reason is even if there is a jumper and the jumper is down a ways from the air handler, all that air has to go into a space at about six inches tall by maybe 12 to 14 wide and then open up more later. That's not how air works. You need to have, you need to have a large opening that gets smaller and smaller and that's how you keep the proper static pressure. We also made sure that this system is going to run quiet. So that's very important that we don't overpressurize manufactured duct. Manufactured duct is very small. And then I'll show you a picture of it here versus the standard residential duct that we're used to dealing with. Take you guys inside and we'll go take a look at how we did the air handler inside. Okay, so it's important that you have louvered doors. Manufactured home furnaces, at least most of them, do not have return air ductwork. Therefore, you will have transfer grills over each of the bedroom doors and the main door here entering the mechanical laundry room. So this is important to leave these open, guys, including the bottom one. Then the main door is the same. This is where the air handler is located. Small return grill on the bottom as well. Now... One of the biggest struggles with changing from a manufactured home furnace, which are cheap, they're not built well, and they're way overpriced. What the challenge is in these areas is that our standard residential furnaces are 29 deep, 30 inches deep. This closet area, would 29 would put us in the door. We would never make it. So one of the nice things about our all electric air handlers is that they're only 20 deep. So we have the space to put the air handler in here. When we go all electric, we don't have the vent anymore. We don't have gas in here anymore. So now we have a much safer system that only produces water during cooling versus a high efficiency furnace that would be producing acidic acid all the time and we are up in the mountains here so we would be using this unit for primarily for heat but we were able to build a custom box below it let me show you that now the reason we built the custom box is because the opening in the floor is towards the back and a little bit off center 
So by us building this box, we also bring our heat kit up safely off the floor and allow the air to go down and disperse properly into this main trunk line. Now below that, we did add that 10 inch flex to bring the air to the other side. And I'll show you a picture of that flex in the crawl. We have a P-trap, of course, because this is a negative pressure. This unit isn't a downflow application. Everything's turned around. You know why you see the Daikin stickers upside down. Everything is down. Um, we do have to do a slight conversion for the coil. The coil gets turned around. Some different things happen here to get the coil in that position. But it is important to use the clear P-trap that we like to use so we can see if it's getting full of any schmuckus or anything like that and make sure that that gets cleaned out. And this is really easy with these caps to clean. There is a breaker over here on the side. This is a 60 amp breaker. There is an 8KW heat kit in here as a backup heat source. And you can see the new conduit that's come up from the electricians there to wire that for us. And so we have backup heat in here as well as the heat pump. Now that heat pump will run down to negative 20 degrees, but it's gonna need some help, especially if they bump the temperature up a few degrees. And that's where the 8KW kit comes into play. Or if there's ever a problem with the outdoor unit, we have the 8KW kit here to back it up. We have a bi-flow filter dryer here. And you know, like I've showed in my other videos, we love our handy dandy four to five inch filter, optimal cleaning, low static pressures, and up to six months between filter changes. With an open plenum design on the return, we just leave this open to the box in here, just as the other furnace would pull its air from this room. Now we do cap and insulate the direct vent. We shove insulation up in there so that we don't get any condensation and water dripping down. Now this is a fresh air pipe that comes in. Now this, some of these have dampers on them and that was just piped right into the blower compartment. So same difference here. We're just drawing in air only now it's filtered. In the other system, this was on the back side of the filter. So at least now we have this outdoor air filtered. Easy filter changes on this one guys. Just pull on this handle right here. Sorry, I'm doing this filming by myself today, so. And there we go, Got a little bit of a fabric soft back on there to keep a nice seal. There's your filter, just slides right out, slides right back in. Another thing I wanted to say is that these air handlers come with a one inch filter rack. I do not ever recommend using this. Go for the big filter, drop those static pressures across this. Static pressure is their biggest enemy, I feel like, in this business. People don't understand air and statics and volume and all kinds of things that make a system work properly. We need the right airflow. We need to keep the statics at a certain point so that it's not a loud running system. Here we did add our safety switch. So this switch, if the primary drain ever blocks up, safety switch will fill up full of water it'll break this connection and there is an alert terminal built in on the control board on these that will send an alert to the thermostat so everybody knows there's a problem very nice the retrofit of a standard manufactured home furnace into an all-electric system we are up here on propane so this is making a lot of sense for this customer we do label our power to let people know where to shut things off and here again we use stickers because we're proud of our work and we're going to put our dates on here and what we've done. We do commission these and we do rebates for them and we did pull a permit as well for this. So there you go. We can fit an all electric air handler inside the smaller closet of the manufactured home furnaces that will not allow a standard furnace to fit in here because of the depth. But who needs gas furnaces anymore when you've got super efficient heat pumps and electricity at nine cents a kilowatt and propane up here is pushing over two dollars a gallon so there's quite a bit of savings in operation and not only that this thing is quiet this thing can cool and heat and the customer is going to be very comfortable with this system this is our daikin one 
touch, the smaller version of the Daikin One dial. Let me show you this a little bit up close here so you guys can see. So nice big display of what the temperature is in the room. So here we go, we just click that little flame on the side and now we've got all our settings. Auxiliary heat just runs the indoor heat kit. This emergency heat will shut off the outdoor heat pump. We do have heat, cool, and auto settings, which is nice, so we can do both. Of course, up, down, by the arrows here, or just drag this up and down. you got your little three little hamburgers up here that'll get you into the settings of the thermostat where you can change your mode, schedule when you're away, change display, sounds, reminders, date and time, set your Wi-Fi. Here's your account information so you can set it up to your phone and the app and by the way guys the app is exactly the same as this and then you've got your humidity settings if you put a humidifier on there and just some more information about the equipment support and this support actually allows us as dealers to see what's going on with the equipment and we can also adjust it if the customer allows us to do that super easy to use schedule button at the bottom if you want to get to that quickly this is gonna be your away mode, and this will be more information about the air. Hey guys, thanks for coming along with this one. This is fun. I really like just making things that weren't that great. Like those mobile home furnaces, are they're just not great. And then you go to something like this, which is so comfortable, so efficient, and it fits in that space. It actually uses up less space. And the customer is going to love this system for years to come. With Daikin's 12-year part warranty, we have a three-year labor warranty. They've got nothing to worry about. We should do yearly maintenance. And with our all-electric systems, we recommend only doing maintenance once a year versus a dual fuel or maybe just a separate AC and furnace, which we would come in the fall for the furnace and we come in the spring for the AC. With an all-electric system, we really just need to come in the summertime and take care of the heat pump, make sure everything is good. We have a long checklist of things that we do. Our service technician takes about an hour to complete just the heat pump. And then the air handler would be a little bit more, but the air handlers are so simple. I love it. There's, there's no igniters, there's no flame sensors, there's no inducer motors, there's no gas valves, there's no drains, there's no none of that stuff going on. And it's just so much simpler and I think a lot safer. There's no gas to catch on fire to catch to do flame there's you know really there's no carbon monoxide that's a big one right there's no carbon monoxide coming out of this system and you don't have to worry about the vent getting full of snow and ice and it always has that backup heat kit just in case a big storm comes in and knocks out that heat pump somehow we've got that 8kw kit in there keeping the place warm so you know, and one thing to keep in mind about these systems as well is we're going to have a lot longer run time. So we're going to have a long time for the heat pump to do what it's going to do, but that is so much more comfortable. And that is the way these things are designed. So that is a normal operation of this system. And that's one thing people have to get used to with heat pumps is one, it's not going to be as hot out of the register and it's going to run three times or more longer, especially with inverter compressors. So I really like these. These are great. Thanks for coming along. I really enjoy showing the installations and what we can do for customers. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.